so pediatric heart transplantation has been a therapy available to patients since the 1980s, but there's still need for improvement in, uh, in the care. We uh, have good outcomes, but we don't have great outcomes, and we're using a number of research studies here at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC to improve outcomes. So the PHTS is a multi-center registry that we've been a participant of since uh, 1993 when it was uh, first conceived. And we've really uh, been uh, a long-standing contributor to that registry. We've given them um, information on all of our heart transplant uh, recipients, listings, and it's really been a very useful tool for us to um, understand more about how to take care of heart transplant patients, what types of problems they may encounter after transplant, and how to best uh, treat those problems. Uh, right now we're participating in two studies that we're leading um, that allow us to better understand a rare form of cardiomyopathy um, as well as to understand one of the complications after transplant, a type of cancer called PTLD, and we hope uh, these studies will help us uh, to better take care of our patients. We are participating in a multi-center uh, NIH-funded trial. We're one of eight sites uh, looking at antibodies in the blood of patients uh, before and after transplantation and uh, hoping to understand why some patients develop them, why others don't, how to prevent the damage that these antibodies can cause to the heart and ultimately to the patient. Uh, after transplantation, scarring or fibrosis of the heart is one of the problems that leads to uh, death after, after the transplant or loss of the, the graft and need for retransplantation. Uh, we are currently involved in a study here uh, at Children's Hospital Pittsburgh of UPMC using MRI technology to quantify fibrosis after transplant, hopefully to better understand how it progresses and occurs after transplant and how to stop that from happening and, and make these hearts last as long as possible. Heart transplantation is a good therapy, but it's not a perfect therapy. We want to make it a perfect therapy. We want a child who gets a heart transplant to live to their 80, not till their 15 or 20, which is the current expectation. We're using research here at Children's Hospital Pittsburgh of UPMC to better that, realize that goal.